If you watched my original review of the Dell Chromebook 11 3189, you will notice that when I go to where the RAM is at, where I tell you the RAM, I actually misspelled the abbreviation for megahertz, the 2666 megahertz, or either at 2400. So, as the making of the video, back in uh, April 2018 you will notice that the sound is coming from the washing machine the dryer dryer of course so today I'm gonna make the revised review of the Dell Chromebook 11 3189 as I was gonna go ahead and use the tripod for this video I noticed that I broke the tripod and I also made attempts to actually use super glue to actually attach the piece to the tripod. But that did not work. So, I'm probably going to go ahead and get a new tripod for other reviews, which, yes, you're going to see that Compact Death Pro again. Well, not again, but you'll see what happens. If I have enough time to actually go ahead and make this particular video or the Compact Death Pro video. So, at the time of the video, the original video, I was at another building. In fact, in factor of the review. Oh, yes, you guessed it. The washing machine room. So, the revised review is once again the Dell Chromebook 11 3189. As I was editing the video, I made a couple mistakes were very annoying. So, if you want to see the original review, I'll put the link in the video description if you want to see it. So, let's go ahead and get started. What is up YouTube? Ruben here and today I'm going to do the revised review of the Dell Chromebook 11 3189. If you have not watched the original video, I'm going to go ahead and put the link in the video description. So, I'm going to make a couple changes to the original video. In this video, I'm going to correct the abbreviation and also not go too fast like I did in the original video. So, you're seeing this one again. This time with the correct configuration on the edit, uh, editing project which of course I'm not saving that as part of the rendering process and of course since I believe the video will be shorter I think it should have enough time since I don't plan on using much of anything in this video so let's go ahead and get started also in the original video, I also started saying as the as, as the microphone uh, starts up on my old phone, the LG Spree, which of course I am not using that at the moment. Well, I'm not using it anymore since I now have the Motorola Moto E5 Cruise. Now. On the front, there's nothing. Same thing with the back. I'll show you proof of it. So, let's go ahead and get to the left. So, the left side, you got the headphone jack, the charging light, the power button, the volume button, and the recovery button, also known to be the Kensington lock. So, let's go ahead and get to the right.
Unfortunately, since they now outside the house because now someone's using it, and that's going to be the possible way to scrap the video, and I need to go ahead and do something else. And since I need to do the revised review, I'm gonna go ahead and get outside. If it does not stop, then I'm gonna go ahead and scrap all the footage, and that's gonna be the end. Until next week. So, hopefully it's going to be a quiet neighborhood and please expect the birds uh, chirping right there. Because it is, it is, this is a Sunday morning. So let's go ahead and continue on with the review. Right here we got the PA-12 power jack or the DCN jack. Here we got a micro SD car slot. Now. The micro SD card slot can go up to 32 gigabytes. So, if you add the 32 gigabytes of storage plus the SSD, which also has 32 gigabytes, you can go up to 64 gigabytes of expandable storage. Now, my laptops, the HP Pavilion G7, the Dell Inspiron 1521, and the HP Pavilion 2000, both have my uh, SD card slots and you can use a micro SD to an SD card adapter to actually uh, transform from SD to micro SD card so that's one possible way to install a micro SD card into a micro SD card slot using the adapter right here we got the HDMI port and here you got two USB 3.0 ports. Now, they are backwards compatible, so you can use USB 1.1 devices or USB 2.0 devices. Yeah, sure, you can actually install USB 3.1 devices, but it's going to run at USB 3.0 speeds. So, let's go ahead and pause the video and I'll show you the top. Right here we got the Dell logo, the activity light, and the Chrome logo like you see on all Chromebooks. Now this is actually a Chromebook so it runs Chrome OS. So, as the time being, this is actually the clone of the Dell Latitude 11 3189 for what I understand. Now in the original video, I possibly said a Dell Inspiron, but no. For what I understand, and I looked that up online, the Dell Latitude 11 3189, and it looks exactly the same as this Chromebook. Let's go ahead and flip it. Right here we got the Chromebook 11 3189 designation, the service tag, and the express service code, and all of the uh, CE stuff and also the do not uh, go in the trash bin uh, uh, warning sign if the camera will pick that up yes yeah, so there you go so there you go now I'm going to tell you the specs now as part of it I am now going to be centering it through Windows Movie Maker and use a different transition in order to actually show you the specs which may seem unfamiliar so let's go ahead and tell you the specs for the specs we got a 1.6 gigahertz Intel Celeron N 3060 with Intel graphics because it is uh, an iGPU and some of you are going to say that it is an APU as opposed to the Intel graphics already installed on the processor. Now, this is a soldered processor so it's not upgradable because it's a Chromebook and you don't upgrade anything. It also has 4 gigabytes of DDR4 RAM is either 2400 or 2666 megahertz ever since the Chromebook has its lifetime span with all the uh, RAM 
4 gigabytes is not enough these days for what I understand because there's lots and lots of tech people that are using 8 gigabytes of RAM or even 16 gigabytes and the storage it has a 32 gig EMMC solid state drive or SSD making it much faster to boot into Chrome OS and also so also the programs so the operating system now I update the Chromebook pretty much on a daily basis and it's currently running as the time of the video Chrome OS 72 so there you go since the Chromebook is running Chrome OS 72 I'm not going to show you much of anything since it is a Linux distro well possibly a Linux distro because it is running Chrome OS and not Windows or Mac and since it is a Dell these Dell Chromebooks are very 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 durable and I do like Dell for that so let's go ahead and get to Chrome OS I know some people are going to ask that hey where did you get that wallpaper with that logo now now this is a POSD based Chromebook of course since uh, I use this thing uh, pretty much on weekdays we have the same background as used in the desktop so this is a POSD Chromebook however this is for students to bring home so that's what I use for weekdays and this is where you say upload video with uh, upload videos from this Chromebook which now I don't use that anymore I now use the iMac uh, as the uh, upload uh, upload computer now of course I can use other computers as well but since the uh, personal account ban has started they also know and they also know that they're also having proxy errors so let's go ahead and get to Chrome OS uh, to about Chrome OS and since it is running Chrome OS uh, 72 I will go ahead and go to the customize menu to help and click on about Chrome OS and I know I don't know if you're gonna see it on camera because this is running Chrome OS 72 okay let's see if I can get a better view so I'll be back I'll be back there we go it's now showing Chrome OS 72 this is the security patch build 122 as I updated Chrome OS 72 from Chrome OS 71 I was running security patch build 96 now it's running 64 bit so as the video as the time of the video we are currently running Chrome OS 72 so let's go ahead and do some benchmarks actually no because since it is a Linux distro not gonna do any benchmarks so let's go ahead and get to the GPU right here for the GPU it is an Intel HD Graphics 400 and this is a Braswell processor since it is an Intel Celeron N3060 it has built-in Intel graphics so there you go do you have any more benchmarks I can show you the camera app no that's not what I want And yeah, 
since this is the updated camera app. I'm not sure if, yeah, you can't even see me from the camera. I'll turn that around. Actually, let's see. There you go. Hello, people. Try to close the camera app. With that said, on an early day in the morning, you may not be able to see something as it comes out bad. Let's go ahead and close out of that page. Do you have anything else? We can go to the Files app. That's the only one I can use. Man, it runs fine. So there you go. So that is it for the review. So there you go, people. I'm gonna go ahead and close it because, like I said, I use this pretty much on a daily basis. So thank you guys for watching. Please be sure to hit the subscribe button and also hit the bell icon. That bell icon, if you click on it, you will get notified whenever I'm doing a live stream or as I upload a video. You can also follow me on Facebook. Of course, the Facebook link will not be included in the video here, but I can also provide links for Twitter and Instagram. You can also follow me on Twitter at RubenAparicio17. And you can also follow me on Instagram at Ruben the Transit Fan. Hopefully I can get a Luna update in the video here because we have so many time uh, uh, yeah, we had so many uh, uh, times coming in with my dog. So let's see if I can call her out. So I'll be right back. Well, Luna won't come out uh, today. Well, not at least in the morning because it is uh, morning. Luna's probably sleeping at the time of making the video. So, what is the next tech video? I'll show you the next tech uh, computer. That I'll show you the computer that I'm doing next in another tech review. So let's go ahead and stop the video and I'll go ahead and show you the other computer that I want to show you guys for the next tech video. So in the next tech video, if I point the finger right to that computer, that is the Compact Desk Pro, which I'll be reviewing next time. I'll zoom it in. So this computer right here, that's the one I'm going to be reviewing the next time I go ahead and uh, do a computer video. If I have time, because I don't have time for anything at the moment, because now someone's using the TV, which I don't want to do that on videos like that, because of reasons why. So let's go ahead and zoom out. So there you go, people. So that's it, folks. That's the Chromebook review, and that's it, folks. I'll see you next time.